In 1890, Italian mathematician Giuseppe Piano discovered that if you continuously divide a straight line segment into three parts and bend it back and forth, after many iterations it transforms into a curve that fills an entire plane, known as the Piano Curve. This breakthrough introduced the concept of non-integer dimensions and laid the foundation for fractal geometry. In 1904, Helge van Koch introduced the Koch curve, a self-similar figure that looks the same at every scale of magnification. In nature, fractals appear in snowflakes, branches, blood vessels, rivers, corals, and lightning. Everything seems to be made of smaller parts resembling the whole, as if the universe itself follows a hidden geometric code. When calculated, the Koch curve has a dimension of about 1.26, not one-dimensional, but not fully two-dimensional either. In 1979, Benoit Mandelbrot simulated complex iterative functions and created the Mandelbrot set, an image where infinite zoom reveals endlessly similar yet never identical structures. Fractals help explain many natural phenomena and are applied in meteorology, economics, and biology. Branching processes, from trees and blood vessels to the brain and galaxies, all suggest that the universe follows simple repeating rules that generate infinite complexity.